Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our current status quo is that we can see our foreign company at the Freeport, uh, for example, is that there are about 33,000 of, uh, of a workers. But what happened is there only 20% of local workers that, uh, that from Papua that work there. So what does it mean? So it means that they can do just anything without any regulation or without any law uh, uh, to these uh, local workers, ladies and gentlemen. And also, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, even that those 20% of the amount of local workers that work in a free port is that they don't even work in a, in a topper positions they only work in a, in a lower position such as as, as those who uh, who dig, uh, who decline and also such as uh, and so on and so forth ladies and gentlemen so therefore under the side of the house we uh, we are proudly to uh, to propose that this house believes that uh, us as a developing countries and in this case is Indonesia should require foreign companies in operating in our territory to have a minimum quota of hiring local workers ladies and gentlemen well uh, a minimum quota that we mean in this context is not only how many uh, local workers that they have to uh, that they have to uh, hire not only that but also we will also set a regular regulation uh, which is that I'm going to explain in uh, that I'm going to explain you in my mechanism that uh, that uh, that they have to set a, set a certain position on which local of workers from Indonesia from developing con uh, countries will work in that certain positions and now ladies and gentlemen we will have a uh, three mechanism first we will see uh, so ladies and gentlemen before I jump to mechanism let me tell you that I also I'm going to tell you that this solution that this mechanism will be good for both of the parties uh, both uh, for the foreign companies and also us as the developing countries and as well it will have a good impact or uh, on the local workers ladies and gentlemen uh, for the foreign companies we will have the first mechanism is that we will see okay we will see where the foreign company is located at and then number two accordingly to the first mechanism we will then decide the integrity zone the integrity zone is where we will classify these local workers in a to the competence of each local workers because they believe because us and in the uh, because they as a foreign companies believe that in sterility of each place in developing countries that people itself have a different competence and skill so we as a developing countries and under of the government has will also give them a freedom to choose and also to set this regulation that I'm going to tell you later on which competence and also which local workers that they are uh, that they are going to her and then that ladies and gentlemen and the third mechanism is that we will then under the side of the government house will make a regulation so us as a developing countries we will also make a regulation or law to strengthen the mechanism of classification so the classification that i just told you uh, it is just to justify is to justify and balance between the foreign company and also local workers so ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen we can see that there is a there is a local uh, a local regulation and in East, Kalim and East Kalimantan and East Kalimantan that uh, that foreign company should have 80% like they should hire look uh, that they should hire 80% of local workers from Indonesia but what is happening is that uh, that our that in our stat and uh, our current status quo is that it doesn't happen like they don't hire 80% of local workers from Indonesia so what is the bad thing what is the bad thing happening if they they don't really if we don't apply this mechanism that they should that uh, that if they don't have a uh, like a minimum quota for us as a local workers or as a local workers from Indonesia from or from developing countries to work there is that there will be unjustification ladies and gentlemen for uh, for example like uh, just for the first okay like if there is no minimum quota it means that the foreign company that that is located in its territory of Indonesia will will do anything that they want like they will uh, because they will have a freedom to just to hire how many just for example if for example a Google, uh, Google company have a thousand comp uh, have a thousand employees and they will only hire about a percent about two percent then it will be bad for us ladies and gentlemen because then it will not like it will not make a like a, a prosperous of us like it will not make a prosperous aspect uh, for us as a uh, as a uh, 
as a higher I mean as a local workers and also it will be uh, it will be uh, bad for Indonesia because then we do we will not get any benefit uh, we will not get any benefit from them right so that's why we uh, we, we will uh, that we are under the side of the house which uh, we strongly believe that this is good okay and then for uh, for the next reason is that ladies and gentlemen if the foreign company will apply this mechanism, will apply this mechanism of how many minimum quota uh, of minimum quota that uh, that they that they, they will hire of local workers, then it will be uh, uh, that will be a good uh, bilateral of the company, both of the for Indonesia and also for the uh, for the foreign company as well. Because why, ladies and gentlemen? Because uh, of course that uh, they are in Indonesia. Those foreign companies are in Indonesia. So of course, however willingly, they will also have to contribute and uh, contribute to Indonesia because then if we set a 50% of minimum quota or 80% of minimum quota uh, for Indonesia to work in that company, then it means that we will also get benefit. We as the developing countries and also uh, as Indonesia, we will get also benefit that our people, that our young competent uh, people and also local workers will get benefit that we we will improve our uh, that we will improve our competence we will improve our skill by working in there so let's just like uh, so if it doesn't happen ladies and gentlemen if it doesn't happen then what uh, that what will happen is that um, is that that we will not get benefit at all so and uh, we will not get benefit at all and of course uh, that will be bad uh, for us so ladies and uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, so we are and uh, we are uh, we are under the side of the government house we are proudly to propose this motion thank you